Hello and welcome to this series of advanced use of T4, uh, focusing especially on the features of T4 and how to use it in regards of uh, abstraction design methodology, but basically the features that you will be see now uh, applied to the general usage of the T4 as well. I'll briefly introduce you to how to grab on your hands on the uh, T4 editor and T4 toolbox. There uh, is a series of great series of articles made by the maker of the T4 toolbox that you should check out if you want to learn more about the advanced use of T4. Then I'll hook up the T4 toolbox to run T4 scripts or actually T4 it's pure code there uh, on the non non tech text template files and I'll show how we can hook it up with the XSDX to update the serialization files from the scheme schema change that the ADM is going to use and hence together this will provide uh, uh, dynamic intelligence modifications that I'll be showing more in the part two but let's let's get started so the best way to find the valid extensions is go to the Visual Studio Extension Manager and through Online Gallery and use the search. You can grab the uh, T4 Toolbox here. Uh, T4 Toolbox is not going to be visible in the actual extensions because it's more like of a library kind of extension, not they're directly at extending to the Visual Studio IDE, except for the tool uh, tools on the building side I'll be showing soon. Then you can find the uh, T4 editor. I personally use this Tangible one, but there are other alternatives as well. Uh, while it might sound a bit unnecessary, the uh, actual intelligence here uh, that is activated by control space as normal is really great when writing the templates, especially because all the uh, T4 stuff is strongly typed, static, statically compiled, so you get all the benefits of the intelligence while working with the templates that uh, show the errors on compilation time and not on runtime. Then let's go to see how the T T4 toolbox works. Uh, I previously showed you how you can modify how T TT files are being handled. However, T4 toolbox allows one important additional feature. Let's go to the paste bin to prevent the typos. T4 toolbox introduces a new tools for custom tools, such as T4 script file generator. It means that any arbitrary file can be hooked with that TT T4 processing when it changes. So once I added that uh, pre uh, custom processor there, it already created me custom TT to handle the processing. Now I'll go back to the paste bin and copy paste a bit of code to demonstrate how it works. So <coughs> I save the compare content TT file and it hooks me with the uh, informs me that it's been transformed as the code does as well if I go to the XML file and save it here let's do it without the keyboard shortcut it also runs the same T4 so basically this allows us to, to do basically any freedom of code whenever a file is changed in the Visual Studio side it also exposes the run custom tool here because not, uh, for instance, schema files are going to be updated also outside the Visual Studio, but we can as as effectively run the custom tool also like this. It makes the usage of the T4 templates very practical. I remove it from the XML now. What we have here, instead where it's valuable, is that we have a XSD file providing in ADM form the model that we are going to abstract and automate. In this case we have very simple model providing compare generate comparer generation with a, any name given and compare type given. It 
produces the tiny bit of ceremonial code to wrap the uh, iCompiler interface to the actual implementation. Let's check. So then we have uh, the XSDX doing all the real job here. So just like I demonstrated, the XSD file is just a normal Visual Studio file with the T4 toolbox allowed D4 script file generator activating every time the file is saved on the Visual Studio side or when it's run the custom tool here. What we've ho hooked it to do is pretty s simple file with gathers the directory info uh, and file path of this very uh, template file and refine the XSD file location based on that. Then they are using some common include that I'll be soon showing you to provide uh, include files for the T4 as well as the general C sharp side of the file. I'll show the files. This is basically the normal C sharp si si side file is just the normal XSDX uh, output. Just very standard XML serialization file for the .NET. The TT include file is basically the same file, but we've added the tags that allow it to be included in the T4 in the beginning and of course in the end. And we've also removed the namespace tags here because this is going to be compiled within the uh, class structure as I showed in the getting started videos. So it doesn't allow the namespace to be defined here. But basically uh, let's see, this is the example, wrong example. Here is what really happens on the background. Very simple, few parameters locating the files uh, and the output directory, whether they need to be generated with the namespace or generate with the T4 tags, ca cause the XSDX to get certain parameters out of it. Basically it's running just a command line XSD. So if I go here and change this or run the custom tool, it briefly runs the XSDX in the background and changes the files appropriately. That's for the part one side. In the part two I'll demonstrate more on the IntelliSense side of the XSD uh, uh, as well as modifying the model and reflecting the changes to the uh, T4 IntelliSense. Thanks for watching.